left onto East Road. It's uh, gonna be a turn. It's not that bad. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right. Caden Place Campground. one of those in ages. Yeah. It's out of order. Uh, oh well. It's been here forever, this place. that they have for stuff here. Yeah. If you see K. If you see K. If you see K. If you see K. Oh honey, chocolate raspberry fudge. Yes please. Did you get this that I got their famous pepperoni stick? Is that what they're famous for? Yeah. And singletons. Okay. Smoked meats, pepperoni. Try it. It's a blind date with a book. It gives you hints what the book is about, but doesn't tell you what book it is. Well, it looks like they're all different. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. This one smells like a field trip. Oh my god, look at this. That is nuts. Oh, I love that. They must be. They must be an exit on the other side to go out outside. Oh, I love that. Let's get one of these at our house. 
That's super cool, huh? Oh, I love that. That's crazy. I cannot believe. Can you see the queen anywhere? Um, it's a floor. Can anybody see the queen? It's kind of hard to, it's like, it's got a glare, so it's hard to see it well. It's lost. That's how they get out. How they get out. And this is where the bees come in and out. That is crazy. They're flying all around. I'm being, I'm being very brave. I don't want to bother them though either. On our way to Grandma Miller's, drove past the Vermont Country Store, so we figured we'd pop in. That is cool, huh? Okay. Maple kisses? Oh. Maple cotton candy. It weighs nothing. I feel how heavy that is. <laughs> it feels like it's empty. Not the camper. I've seen them in so many places and always missing their tails. The tail's inside. Oh, is it? Yeah. No wonder they're always missing yeah, them. Yeah, you install it after. Well, I was wondering how they sell them with no tails, I kept wondering. <laughs> It's a cricket. I don't know. <laughs> it's just decorative. I don't get it. What are you? Maybe it's just decorative. Six dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that to get the. Get the olives out. out? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Well, this is fun. Gift wrap by the by the sheet. It's like old fashioned. -y. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. 
And actually, this is kind of cool because you just have to buy one. Uh-huh. Right. Right? You don't have to buy yeah, a whole set. Yeah, a whole set of them, yeah. Look at this face, though. It's kind of scary. <laughs> it's like a nightmare somewhere. <laughs> Let's go to Grandma Miller's. Turn left onto Hearthstone Lane. Then the destination is on your right. <laughs> The destination is on your right. Grandma Miller's pies and pastries. And cookies and quiches and all kinds of yumminess. Two and a half percent credit card fee. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, look at that. We've had lots of visitors. Oh, where are we from? It's probably lots from where we are. And all the people from Europe. It's yeah. crazy. Huh. Why do they have two of them? Oh, that's... This is United States. Oh, that's I see. Wrong. Look at this one. Just fall from there. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Oh. I think every state, right? I don't see a state that doesn't have a pen. Yeah. That's crazy. Very sweet. what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to split one of these with you right now, all right? <laughs> okay. So I've got a napkin or two. There's a napkin for you. Thank you. A napkin for me. You want the cherry cheesecake or the raspberry? Whichever. I don't want a whole half, but just give me a little piece. Which one is that? This raspberry. Is the raspberry. Oh, you want the small half or the, the small one? half? Small one or the little one? Is that what you said? You want the small half or the oh, smaller the half? <laughs> All right. Let's see if they're as good as we had last time. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Not really good. Okay. What are you going to? Wait, wait, wait. So good. That's good stuff right Go there. Go to Grandma Miller's. Grandma Miller's in Londonderry, London Vermont. So good. They're nice. not open on Sunday. Nice little drive through Vermont country roads today from our campground in Cavendish. 
and uh, you'll see a little bit of the campground either before this section or after one or the other. All right, see ya. Hey, little guy. Hi. Hello. Here's some wildlife for you. Baby. He looks pretty comfortable. Yeah, he likes a blankie. <laughs> Mommy's baby. Yeah, so Okemo Mountain is back there. Look at the sky. Wow. Beautiful. Yes, wicked beautiful. I'm gonna have to watch the video. I can't turn around. <laughs> That's amazing. What do you think about this campground? I like it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very quiet. Small. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. No Wi Fi. No, no TV. Wi -Fi. Just, yep. just come and relax. Yeah. Kind of place. They have a nice pool. It's small mm -hmm. and clean. A little clean. playground for the kids. A little playground. My band, Mosey Down, will be playing here tomorrow night, which is why we came to spend our uh, four days here. And I think it was worth it. Yeah, it's been yeah. very nice. Nice place. Katen. Katen, Katen or Katen? C A T O N. Katen Place Campground in Cavendish, it. Vermont. Yeah. Nice. A little Wi Fi wouldn't hurt, but it's okay. But we're Saturday morning, uh, Katen Place Campground in Cavendish, Vermont. Mosey Down has a gig tonight. Um, so I'm going to be playing at 8 o'clock tonight. Should be fun. We'll get, try to get a few little clips of that for you. I brought my my music man bass. <laughs> and I got all my other gear out in the truck, but uh, we're going to go on a little campground tour. Going to show you what's going on here in Caton Place, and we'll see you in an hour or so. <laughs> Who's a good boy, Stanley? Who's a good boy? Super windy today. I moved my truck because I didn't want it to get hit by our pop-up tent. When it goes blown away? When it goes blown away. So this is the office over here. We're going to take you in there and just take a quick look. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> He's taking off after the golf cart. And then you said they do. The guy across from us said they have a bonfire tonight. Oh, is it tonight? That's what he said. Go ahead and set. I won't come up too, mommy. Yeah. Yeah, like this. I want one. Can you build me one? Sure. No. Not here right now. No, it's just no. the ring you do I guess if you need something. Yeah. I just want to look at the t-shirts. This is it. That's just storage, uh, I guess. I got a couple t-shirts there. Okay. The necessities. Huh? Oh, yeah. Batteries and shampoo, soap. <clears throat> yeah, it's cute. Mm -hmm. There's some snacks. Some snacks. And stuff to make. I don't see any chocolate bars. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, we yeah. got everything. Yeah. Nice pool, it's clean. Yeah, well, it's super windy, so it's gonna get stuff in it. Playground for the kids. Nice one, too. So now we're walking back down from the pavilion. There's a bunch of these open sites in the middle here that you can see. That's where we are. And then there's wooded on both sides. These are all pull-throughs, the ones that are on the center and the right. 
uh, except for this first one. And then there's a whole bunch of wooded sites up through here, which is mostly taken up with seasonals, it seems like. There's this big open field here to do activities and whatnot. There's the pool again over there. And there, way out in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, out there is Okemo Mountain. So we just came back and noticed our awning was flipped over. You can see it over there. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I moved my truck. Because I thought it was going to go this way. So what happened? So we were walking back from our walk. And we were about to go up the hill to show everybody where the restrooms and stuff are. And I saw these metal things sticking up in the air way down yonder. And I said, uh oh, is that our canopy tent? <laughs> and it was. The wind ripped the um, stakes right out of the ground and sent the canopy thing flying. And the funny part is that right before we left for the walk, Joe said, I'm going to move my truck because in case this canopy thing flies away, I don't want it to hit the truck. So he moved the truck over there, canopy thing flew away over there. So that was... I think we got a little bit of footage of it on the ground before we <laughs> before this, but yeah. And, was, and then some nice people came over and... Helped us Helped get us it all folded it up and, and wrangled, yeah. yeah. So that was nice. Yeah. So no more canopy today. Yeah, but it's it's kind of cool and sunny, so it's a nice day to sit in the sun. I think, you know, we'll be fine. Yeah, and we were going to take it down tonight anyway. We usually take it down the night before we leave, so it's just got yeah. taken down a few hours early. Yeah. So no big good. deal. Yeah. All right. All right. Back to the camp tour. All right. That was a thrill moment here. Cavendish, Vermont. <laughs> we're just going to take you up and show you the restroom okay. we think it's the only one that I've seen since I've been here I don't know if there's more in other places okay. so that's the bathhouse right over there there's a laundry room Two machines. So it's rustic, but clean. Pay showers. What's your summary review, Helen? I like it. I mean, the only reason we came here was because Mosey Down was playing. I don't know if we would have booked. Um, a site here otherwise and the, the, we probably wouldn't have because they're such a small place and like family owned and old fashioned they don't even have a site map on their Facebook page I don't believe they have a website they do have a Facebook page but there's no site map so we normally wouldn't book a campground and, and, unless we could see like the site we were getting but now having been here it's nice uh, it's clean comfortable are we so super friendly yeah so there's a pool which we like we give it a thumbs up yes definitely we would come back yeah we would definitely come back all right joe and helen blowing the stink off we'll see you next time take care <laughs> <laughs> and look at this that's 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 the one the only christopher newer from mosey down Right near my campsite. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Good to see you. How are you? So for those of you that don't know, blowing the stink off, we've had our channel a couple, couple of years. I've been playing with Chris now for almost a year, going on close to a year and mosey down. But the funny thing is, is that Chris's folks are the Grand Streeters, Wade and Sharon. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> and you may be subscribed to them already. If you're not, you should. They, they put up some awesome content. And they are actually right over there. And maybe we'll get a celebrity sighting in a little bit. We already had one celebrity here with Chris. Yep. So we'll try later to get another. They're around. <laughs> There's a... More symbols. 
that I can count. <laughs> but he forgets the stands. Yeah. And well, the symbols. He forgets those too. So this this guy right here, that's Wade from the Grand Streeters. Hey, subscribe to the them. streets. Yep, yeah, and they're actually pretty close to our setup today. First so, time finally meeting them after watching their videos for a couple of years. So this is nice. a really nice campground. It is. Yeah, we just walked around and did a little uh, tour did to you? show everything. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I noticed how quiet it was around here. It's pretty quiet. They were up late last, uh, last night. night yeah, yeah, them, them. Yeah. But where we are at, it's really quiet. Yeah. Well, that's why I like it. So we're just about packed up. Um, we had a great weekend. The band played great last night. Um, it was a great show. We got to meet and spend time with Sharon and Wade of the Grand Streeters. Such nice people. And they have a great channel. Um, so interesting, so informative. Lots of great videos, so you should head over to the Grand Streeters and check out their videos. Hopefully you'll like them and you can subscribe, and they're almost at a thousand um, subscribers, so it would be great if we could help get them there. They really deserve it. There's Stanley. He's ready to go home. Joe's over cleaning out the tanks, which everyone thinks is the worst job, but I think the worst job is cleaning the camping mat and putting it away. That's always big mess, but we had pretty dry weather this weekend, so it wasn't too bad. But anyway, here we are leaving from Kate and Place. Well, getting ready to leave from Kate and Place. Yep. And all in all, it was a great weekend. We had a good time and we'd definitely come back. Yeah.